Again, everyone, I totally did not go back to bed after I got Shiloh on the bus. Totally didn't. You did. I didn't. But anyway, I woke up to the most amazing email. I was accepted or readmitted, accepted into the school. I decided that I'm just going to go to and fulfill my dream of being a software developer. Even if it is a temporary dream, I'm going to do it. But I got in. <sighs> I'm so excited to be going back to school. For those who don't know, I have previously gone to this college and I completely forgot that I could be readmitted as a student. What happened was back in 2017, 2018, we had a passing of a very important human in our family. And since then, I haven't been in school. So I've been out of school for about four years now, but I am so excited to be going back. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for the content. I can bring you guys the back to college thing. Now, I used to always think that colleges were for little kids, not little babies, um, young adults, people in their early 20s and late teens, but that is not true. You can go to college at any age. And just because we're not traditional students doesn't mean we're not important to, and we can't kick butt. But while I was scrolling through Instagram and on their videos, there was this one that said, what was it? You are not amazing when you just start. You have to start to be amazing, to get amazing, to be amazing. I think that was the right quote. I'll see if I can find it and then play it for you guys. But I should probably get up out of bed. I'm a little more happy than I was a minute ago. But coffee. I could do some coffee. I'm officially dressed for the day. I'm wearing my Catherine Manning sweater. It says, uh, create a life you love. And I'm doing just that. And one of my morning routines that I like to do is I like to wake up my house. And what I mean by that is I like to open up the curtains, like window curtains, I like to open up the door, open the windows, let the air in. I like to wake up my house. I like to turn on the lights and just feel like present. I know that sounds like probably redundant since I record everything all the time. So how can it be in the moment and also on your phone? Hmm, I wonder. But it's just something I really like doing. I am about to make some coffee. I also just placed a Target order. So for today's vlog, I will also be bringing you guys a quick grocery haul because I haven't done one of those in a while. And yeah, I just wanna share with you guys what I got. But let me show you what I've done to wake up my house so far. Door is nice and open. I have not opened up these curtains yet, but I did open up those curtains. Chula being rude. Chula, what are you doing? Scratching, scratch, scratch. <laughs> She's such a pretty girl. I do want to get these ones open though, so let's do that now while I'm talking to you guys. Good morning, house. It feels so much better in here when things are open and light is in here. Oh no, my spider's falling. Believe it or not, um, if you can see all these like contraptions out there on my awning, this opens. And it lets in so much light. I actually might do that. Okay. It lets in so much light and I'm so happy about it. They are antique awnings so they're really hard to get repaired and fixed like there's one in Shiloh's room that my dad broke on accident when he was um looking at it I asked him to look at it when he was doing the roof but it broke now I'm not gonna do about it I don't have a uh, what's it called a solder to fix it myself but I will find a way but yeah I'm just gonna go make my coffee now because 
There ain't no life without coffee. Or matcha. Coffee time. Cheers. Another thing I like to do in the mornings, even though it's 11 o'clock, is I like to clean up my kitchen and basically just wake it up, get all the dishes clean and put away. I also like to do this at night too, which I've kind of been slacking on, where it's called closing the kitchen, where you just make sure everything is done that way in the morning. The kitchen's ready for breakfast and just to prepare foods, put away foods. And just by looking at everything now, and my cat, I definitely could use a tidy up. So I might just quickly do my dishes and get that done. My grocery order is here. I probably spent maybe 150 and I feel like I really didn't get that much, but I mean, that is a common thing with inflation these days. And if you guys are going through it as well, I mean, it's everywhere, so everyone's going through it. I understand, I get it. $150 and I feel like I got not a lot. Let me show you what I got. We'll start over here since this is where I'm standing. I got some oat milk creamer. This one is the pumpkin spice one. And I really love oat milk. I don't know why, I think I like it more than like soy and almond. And it just kind of tastes like cereal milk. I got the extra creamy Chobani oat milk. I usually use this for my coffees and stuff. Got our little grocery inspector. He was out there sitting on a bag. Got some apple juice for Shiloh. And then this is another one of my favorites. This is the pumpkin spice latte. You mix half of this with half of that and you have the most amazing latte. So let's move over to this stuff. Got some bread. I get the golden wheat from the Artisanos. I love this bread. I also got some bagels because bagels are life. Let me know if you guys have seen that movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once, because I cannot think of bagels the same way. I got two of my favorite cream cheeses. This one is the chives and onions. Or what is this one? Yeah, chives and crisp onions. Still focus. And then of course I got some strawberry. I wanted to try this one. These are the raviolis. These are honey, pumpkin, and goat cheese. And they just sounded absolutely delicious. I got some vegetable tofu dumplings as well as some vegetable egg rolls. Four things of sparkling water. Over here, I got more pumpkin spice flavored coffee. This one's pre-made. This one's just plain iced coffee. Though I do like the cold brews better than the regular coffees, but they didn't have the cold brew Starbucks. So we just are sticking with the cold brew pumpkin spice cream. It is not dairy free, but I wish it was. Moving over to the vegetables. I got some fresh mushrooms because I can never have enough mushrooms in my house. Got some lettuce for the guinea pigs. Two avocados. I got some asparagus because Warren gave me some and it actually went bad. I already showed you that. Got some frozen vegetables, got some green beans, broccoli. Over here, I got some mashed potatoes. This just makes my life so much easier, even though I have an entire bag of mashed potatoes right there. I just haven't cooked them because these are just so good. I got two things of this general soused tofu, and these are so good. I got one for me, one for Jerry. They might both be for me if he doesn't get to in time. I got some lightly salted rice cakes. These are my substitute when it comes to like breads and carbs and stuff like that. I got that one and then I got the, uh, what is this one? I think this is white cheddar, yeah, white cheddar. It's up here, I was looking all down here. Some white cheddar ones for Shiloh. I got some of these cute little animal crackers and the kitty ones are so, so cute. I also got some more rice cakes over here because I love rice cakes. These ones are the cheddar flavor and they have 13 grams of whole grains, they're gluten-free, and they're also like really, really healthy for you. And then I got some ranch. One, because ranch is in our life. 
and then I got some of my protein chips because these are delicious. I know everyone is different on taste, but I absolutely love them and all that. But yeah, all that came to like 150. They didn't have the sweet matcha I wanted, and that was like probably one of my sole reasons besides coffee for my grocery order. But I got some yummy food too, and enough to last for a couple dinners. So I'm gonna put this stuff away real quick. Magic. Look at this kitty. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Is that a good bag? Are you a good kitty? Are you on the target bag? Are you on the target bag? He is so ignoring me. I still love you. guys so i just want to pop on here and just kind of update you guys i am gonna end the vlog here because i'm super super tired and i want to take a nice shower i finished dinner i did make a barbecue tofu mashed potatoes and asparagus i fed warren the same thing except i made him salmon but i am gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for joining me for another day in vlogtober i really hope you guys liked it if you did please make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it really helps support me and my channel and it just makes me feel motivated that people are watching it and enjoying it. Shiloh's bringing a dollhouse to her bedroom. But I look forward to you guys. I look forward to seeing you guys all tomorrow in my next vlog. Bye.